30 years old. I'm from Oxfordshire. Um, I recently returned home um, last February after living and working and travelling overseas for five and a half years. Um, looking back on it, biggest regret of my life so far to be to have returned home, but here we are. Um, so yeah, just a little bit of my story and my concerns going forward with everything that's been happening and I'll try and keep it as short as possible, but obviously there's a lot to be talked about. Um, so I started a new position on the 2nd of March this year, which meant that I was not entitled to furlough. Um, my partner is recently self-employed from May last year, teaches kids at football in schools. Um, not entitled to any grant, any financial help whatsoever. Thankfully, I could get a um, position through my work working on a government contract, um, which I prefer obviously not to not to talk about because um, my company have been pretty good f throughout all of this. Um, so I'm thankful for that. But obviously, there's been that massive concern with my partner. He can't go back to work until schools go back. Um, and there's no financial help for him whatsoever. Um, he's been forced into finding temporary work, which he luckily has got some, um, but he's still down every month because um, he's still got his business bills and whatnot that needs to be paid. Um, for me, I feel like the government are not doing enough to help people. Um, I feel like the, the goal in that respect is to get people to be completely dependent financially on the government um, so they can track everybody's moves um, God knows what's coming but we've all heard the stories um, and this is why people should be concerned that we're moving into this cashless society all the talks about um, you know tracing all the talks about microchips all this kind of stuff like it's a very real reality I think to be honest um, I feel like from the beginning, everything's just been a complete lie. Um, you've had skewed death rates. Nobody knows. I mean, the, the testing, they tested a piece of fruit and a goat, that, which came back positive. How anyone can actually take any of this seriously in, in terms of that, um, ever since the story broke last Friday with, with, the, um, with the death rates in England, you, you could get tested as positive and then hit by a car two months later and you, your death would be recorded as COVID. It's, it's, it's just insanity. Um, and the same thing's happening in America and I have no doubt it's happening everywhere else. Now with obviously Spain um, going into their second wave when they've actually um, just been ramping up their testing and their antibody testing, which seems to be a perfect excuse to get the media to put everybody into a frenzy again. Um, I feel like the second wave is going to be a load of lies and it's actually going to be a second wave of fear and a second wave of people that are dying from um, delayed um, medical help. You know, all we were told was stay home, protect the NHS, save lives and people have missed out on important appointments. We've already heard of people um, that are backlogged to be diagnosed with cancer. There was already an uptick in cancer deaths. I think people died at home from strokes and and whatnot because they were too scared to go to the go to the hospitals or, or call. You know, um, we've had new laws that have been swept in without any scrutiny at all that the media haven't even covered. Um, you know, they can literally come into your home now and remove you and your children. Why does that not concern anybody? We've now had reports in Spain that they're setting up confinement camps. Um, that they can they can put you into a into a confinement camp for how long where like why is this not concerning people there's been this whole talk about it being nazi germany and uh, you know the more things that are happening it literally is looking like we're going t towards that kind of thing um the propaganda everything you know t trying to turn people against each other a complete division like it, it's, it's just insanity and I just really wish that people would wake up um you know I, I've tried to talk to my friends about it certain pe certain certain people in my friend group just think that I'm absolutely 
insane with what I'm thinking and I'm just like have you done any research are you just blindly believing what you're being told by governments and it it, it just there's there just seems like there's no sort of light at the end of the tunnel um that we just have this this one to two percent of the elites that are just literally ruling our world with everything and I do feel like a lot of it has got to do with the American election um that they are literally trying to put all the stops out as well to try and stop trump from getting back into power um obviously i know that you've talked about q as well um and and how that's all going you know with with trying to expose the the pedof pedophile rings and, and hollywood and whatnot i do generally feel that um that also has a massive part to play in what is what is happening um the the fact that anybody that questions um mass anybody that's questioning this rushed vaccine are just being labeled as anti-vax and, and boris turning around and saying we're nuts well i'm sorry but there is a massive difference from being anti-vax and, and questioning something for your own health or your family's health um it, it should just turn around and say that it's, it's again it's another division thing um and it, it's very worrying um i just don't as I said, I don't see any light at the end of this tunnel um, and people are spiraling further into depression and financial difficulties. Um, I have suffered massively with anxiety and depression the whole way through this. Um, and if I didn't make a group on Facebook of like minded people that I could talk to that felt the same, I don't know where I would be with all of this, with all this information and, and things that I'm finding. Um it's it's heavy stuff it's very very heavy when you put the connections together and join the dots it's 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 very worrying um and i'm glad that someone like yourself is finally trying to do something about this and speak out because we are we are the majority and we can stop this if we all come together basically um so yeah sorry for going on for so long but as i said there is so much stuff to this um and yeah I just I just hope people wake up and be part of the great awakening basically thank you